All right, so here's our last example. This is the slightly more complicated scenario. Um, we still assume instant mixing. We always have to make this assumption because we can't solve without it. Um, but now we're going to use different flow rates, right? So the flow in and the flow out, those are going to be different values. And we have to figure out what's going to go on with that, OK? So we're going to go through and we're going to work all this out. So we still have that same initial value, right? Same initial concentration of 5. And we look for the rate of change in x. So we still have solution flowing in at a rate of 3 grams per liter in the solution, which is coming in at a rate of 2 liters per minute. Okay. And for the rate out, well, here's where we have to be a little bit more careful, right? Because now we say, well, what is actually the volume? The volume as a function of time, right? What is volume as a function of time? Well, we start with 5 liters. And well, we can kind of work it out. It's just this, 5 plus t. Why? Because every minute that goes by, right? There's, there's two liters coming in, there's one liter going out, right? So after one minute, you've added two liters and you've removed one, so there's an extra liter. After two minutes, you've added four liters, you've removed two, there's two extra liters, so on. So we get something that looks like that, right? So the concentration is going to be, well, x grams divided by 5 plus t liters, right? And we got to multiply by the rate, which is one liter per minute. Okay. Now, I suppose if we're dealing with a 10 liter tank, then this is a problem that we can only really run time for five minutes, right? After five minutes, the tank is full, and then this isn't a good model anymore. But at least it gets us started. Okay. So what we get if we ignore the units and we simplify dx, oops, sorry, dx dt is going to be 6 minus x over 5 plus t. Or in other words, dx dt is 1 over 5 plus tx, sorry, plus and that's going to equal to 6. So far, so good. This is linear, right? This is a linear equation. We've got to get our integrating factor. What's the integrating factor? Mu of t. It's e to the integral of 1 over 5 plus t dt. OK, so that's e to the log of 5 plus t. OK, so that is simply 5 plus t. All right, so that suggests that we should rewrite our equation as 5 plus t times dx dt plus x is equal to 6 times 5 plus t. Right? Because on this side, this becomes d dt of 5 plus t times x. And that's going to be equal to 30 plus 6t. All right. So now we integrate. 5 plus t times x is equal to 30t plus 3t squared, okay, plus possibly some constant. Um, now we can we can determine that constant at any point. This is maybe a convenient time to do it. Um, we know that x of zero is still five, right? So x naught is equal to five tells me that five times x of zero, so five times five should be equal to, well, c, right? Because t goes to 0. So that's 25. 
So putting that in, I get x of t equal to, let's see what we have. We have uh, 30t plus 3t squared plus 25 divided by 5 plus t. Okay, very different looking solution than the one that we had before, right? But we get there. Uh, and of course, this is only going to be valid for t between 0 and 5, because once we get to t is equal to 5, we, we overflow the tank and we have to stop.